going on guys? I quickly wanted to talk about a couple products before we kick off the main part of the video. I got this product off of eTrailer. This is actually pretty cool. This is called the RV Flexible Swivel Stick. This is actually designed to clean the inside of your black tank. So I do have a black tank flush on the RV, but occasionally I don't feel like it does the job. I don't feel like it really gets everything out. And the way our tank is positioned, our black tank, when it goes down the toilet, it goes on this long arm into the main tank. And you can see right here, ours is set up exactly like that. So getting down in here is pretty difficult. And they make this stick with the sprayer at the end, but I'm not gonna be able to reach all the way down into the black tank. So I got this, which has a flexible kind of a hose that allows you to get all the way down there. You connect this part to a hose, it has a little valve, and this spins and sprays the inside of your black tank off and hopefully cleans up the sensor if you've had sensor readings that are wrong. So I'm gonna be trying this at the RV soon, but I wanted to show you this because I think this should do the job effectively. I won't know 100% until I try it. It's only about a $30 item. I got this off of eTrailer. If this is something you're interested in, I will put a link in the description. Now the next part of this video is all about cleaning your RV. So I just wanted to show this because I really didn't want to do a whole video on it right now. And when I get out to the RV and we actually get a chance to use this, I'll demonstrate if it works and how it works. And for those of you who saw the video of me installing the one step on on the fifth wheel which is essentially this cool chalking system where you put it between the tires you step down and it kind of clamps itself in place you notice that I had installed it upside down which I did I installed it like this when it should actually go like this that was my mistake and I definitely wanted to clarify the system goes like this you press down once it's between the tires and it locks itself in place you pull this up and it releases it so I wanted to make that quick correction What's going on guys? Let's talk about RV cleanup. This is gonna be a video a lot of people have asked for because a lot of people wanna know what they can do to more effectively clean their RV. And I put together a nice little assortment of products here for a good price to talk about it. All right guys, one of the most common questions I get asked in the comment section as well as my email and on Facebook is, what do I suggest in terms of cleaning an RV? Mainly because a lot of people believe you can simply take a pressure sprayer and start spraying your RV off to clean it. And that is probably the single worst thing that you can do. Mainly because you have a lot of areas in an RV that just aren't designed for high pressure water spray, especially the little weep holes at the bottom of your windows. If you spray into those, you are essentially going to spray water directly into your RV, as well as other areas such as the vent hood and the vent that exits that air out on the outside of your RV. So you want to avoid using a pressure sprayer. That being said, I've assembled three products here, all of which can be purchased from eTrailer, and the total price is only going to be a hundred bucks, which is also going to get you free shipping. Let's talk about them. The first one is this Camco wash brush. This is really cool. It's your typical flow-through wash brush, but what's nice about it is this head is actually mounted on a square mounting assembly, so the head's not going to rotate or possibly spin off when you're using it. That's very nice. Plus, it does have the ability for you to extend it and lengthen the overall post. And at the end down here, you can turn your water flow on or off with a simple switch as opposed to those typical twist knobs that tend to get pretty weak after a while and start to leak here at the end. This is a very, very nice aluminum shaft. It's definitely something that you would want to use on an RV. It has soft bristles. This is going to be what you want for the sidewalls, especially if it's a fiberglass sidewall. And it's just going to be what you need for typically the front of your fifth wheel, the sides of your RV, especially when you're getting up high. It extends from 47 to 74 inches. This is very cool. Easy grip. It has this nice rubberized grip on it as well. Telescoping and again, the head won't spin because it uses a square assembly to mount the head on as opposed to the typical round threaded assembly. Next is going to be probably the single most important aspect and that's this foam sprayer. You simply fill the canister at the bottom with your favorite soap, which we'll go over here in a second. You attach it to your water hose and it foam sprays the whole side of your RV. So you can essentially just get your entire RV soaped up so you can use this brush and the pass through water flow would easily scrub and rinse off your RV. So this is gonna be a really cool and convenient tool because it gets a lot of soap on your RV quickly, especially at some of the higher areas that would be harder to reach by hand. Now the final one is also something that's important. This is the Valterra RV Cleaner. This is the wash and wax 
solution. It comes with this little sponge, which I probably wouldn't use except for maybe on the wheels, those areas, small areas around the fender. And this is the material you would actually put inside of this canister to spray on the side of your RV. This is going to give you the right type of material. It's going to clean, shine, it rinses off easily, and it doesn't leave streaks, which is a big one. This is specifically designed for RVs and for the fiberglass sidewall on your RV. So when you combine the three of these together, you have your wash and wax material, your ability to get it on your RV through a foam sprayer. This is super cool if you haven't used these for your cars. And you can scrub the dirt off with the Camco flow through wash brush. And this is going to reach all of those larger areas. Plus, when you get the soap, it'll have the little scrubber so you can get into the wheel spokes and some of those more hard to reach areas that you won't be able to get to with a brush. Anyways, guys, this whole package put together totaled up is only about 100 bucks. And again, because it's over $99, it's going to get you free shipping with e-trailer. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in this product. What's also nice about this is this is the perfect gift for an RV. If you're the spouse of the person who washes the RV, if you simply have a family member who loves to go RVing, this package is something that they would probably really want, especially if they've had trouble washing their RV and they didn't know specifically what tools would work well for it. And it's going to get the soap where it needs to go, the length and the scrub brush where you need to scrub, and the soap that you need as well as the sponge to really get into those tight areas. Guys, I will put a link in the description of this video if this is something you're interested in. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.